you know, you are what you are, and that's it. I mean, let's face it, in this, day, in this day and age, if it was a conscious decision that people make, why would anybody choose to be gay knowing the prejudices that exist out there against the gay and lesbian community, okay? It's got to be in your genes. You're simply born that way, and that's it. End of story. People who are your friend accept you for what you are and who you are, and that's it. That's why it's very strange about it. And I tell you, it really, it really goes against everything that uh, the liberals say. But that's what she or she just decided one day not to do. Well, you said she probably wasn't. She probably was not sure about her, you know, uh, ex exactly where she fit in, okay? Well, where, 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 where do her jeans fit in? Where do her jeans fit in? You know, it's... I don't know. I'm not kidding. I'm not... I'm not I have no idea. I tend to think of you that it does come from you're born with it and that's the way you are because... With a lot of people, you can tell them they're young and all that. Right, and it's, I was just going to say, it's not only that, it's also the fact that people who are gay will say, I've known since I was a little boy or a little girl, you know. There are different. Not when you're different. Not when you're that young, but as you grow, you certainly, you know, see the difference. I'm not, I don't live in New York City, so I couldn't vote for him, and I have no, uh, no, I don't have the right to vote for him, but I do have the right to talk about it, and don't so, say my opinion. Well, you know, when you're a politician, your life is an open book, you I'm know? I feel most of the first day I saw him, I didn't like it, but that was just a, uh, I don't, there was no rational reason. Well, I know I didn't like him from the time I saw him eating pizza with a knife and a fork on The Daily Show, okay? As it was reported when he was in Staten Island, all right, um, you always take your pizza, fold it in half, pick it up, and let the grease drip down. The only place I have ever seen pizza eaten with a knife and a fork is if you go to Ray's, and I'm talking about both Ray's in Manhattan, the one downtown and the one uptown, because the pizza is so thick and so good that, you know, they encourage you to take a knife and a fork, all right? But even then, you know, uh, the, the average person growing up within the five boroughs, you pick it up, you let the grease drip down, and you just take a bite and chomp away. And that's making me hungry. Well, look at the leftover dominoes. What? We also had leftover cheeseburgers, hamburgers. We had a party today. Certainly not here. Yeah, right. The only leftovers we have around here is, uh, there are no leftovers around here. No, there are. You just wind up throwing them all out when your wife was in the hospital. That's true. Let me tell you, folks, Felix had leftovers, and if you dropped it on the floor, you'd crack the tile. Thanks. Well, better than eating it. Yeah, that's true. No, well, actually, we usually don't have uh, leftovers. And if they do, they can stay there no matter what eats them. And Mark has seen when he uh, comes in here, and then he, everything that was here is still here. Nothing's changed. The same, uh, hold on, we have a caller from uh, 917. You caller, got, hold on. You got me. Oh, you don't have it. Hello? Oh, caller, who's calling? Hey, guys, it's Lisa. Hey, hey how, are you? how are you? I'm okay. You don't sound it. What's the matter? I'm not. I'm really not. I've been having... The worst day, actually the worst week. Can't get out of bed, um, pains, but 
nothing I can do about it until I see a doctor. Wow. Well, you said your medical kicked in, didn't it? Well, yeah. No, I I actually I've been I've been fighting to see a urologist, um, but nobody can see me until next month. So <clears throat> I actually set two appointments for two different urologists because I want to get two different opinions. So I have one appointment on January 6th and another appointment on January 20th, which I was actually referred to the doctor on the 20th from um, another doctor of mine. So I just want to see what the both of them say. Hopefully they'll both say the same thing and I can finally get this problem solved. Jim, so... S- yeah, urinary tra- yeah, urinary tract infection. I, fri- I tell you, Friday and yesterday were really the worst days of my life. Um, I went to work on Friday, and I just, I, I couldn't move. And I, the only reason why I went into work is because, you know, it's coming down to the wire. Tomorrow's my last day of work until, the, you know, and then the holiday comes and then I'm off. So I wanted to get everything done, and we were having a small party, so I wanted to go in, and, you know, like, all my bosses and everybody were like, they, they saw I couldn't move, I, I, I couldn't walk, and they were like, why don't you just go home? And I'm mm. like, because there's nothing to do at home. They were like, how about go in the bed and rest? I was like, that's boring. But it doesn't matter whether I'm in bed, sitting, standing, walking, it, it's painful. Um, well, I don't, I, I don't know what it is anymore. I'm, I'm thinking that it's that, and, I mean, it could also be something with the blood. I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I just can't tell. Um, it could be pelvic inflammatory diseases, a lot of things it could be. <laughs> it could be that, or it could also be something with my intestines, because, again, it's the same thing. I'm... I'm remembering when my father said he had these pains, and there's, like, almost the same kind of pains that he was describing. So, again, I don't know. It could be a combination of everything. Now, I was diagnosed in the summer with three urinary tract infections, which possibly could have been the same urinary tract infection that never went away, which I had the three antibiotics, which they didn't work, or they worked, but it was only temporary. So, I mean, I can actually go to, like, the ER right now if I wanted and, you know, temporarily get an antibiotic that'll just temporarily help me and I'll be fine for a couple of weeks or maybe a month and then it starts up again. But this time around, it's getting worse and every day it's getting worse and worse. So, I mean, yesterday I was completely bedridden. I mean, I took myself off the face of the earth yesterday. I did not get out of bed. I didn't open my eyes. I pretty much slept the whole day yesterday because it was the only time that I wasn't in pain. Hmm. (laughs) The only thing I'm really taking is Advil when I really, really can't um, tolerate the pain. Um, And actually, the Advil seems to be working for a bit, um, and also yesterday I, I broke out um, with fever, so, I mean, my resistance is probably low, um, I mean, I, I, I don't know, I, I just, I, I can't put my finger on it, and I'm just waiting now for the doctors. Well, I, I mean, I could do that. Like, I've got um, urgent cares, not like one right around the corner from my house, and then there's another one not too far, and I've gone to them already, but they're really bogus. They don't really know what they're doing. Um, yeah, they'll they'll do those tests. You know, they'll, they'll do a urine test. They'll say, okay, it's an infection. We'll put you on antibiotic. But I need more than that at this point now. Um... That you might actually need surgery. Right. Right. <clears throat>
I mean, I don't know how many, how how much pills can I possibly take. I already take pills for my Crohn's disease, which I got to take four times a day. Which half the time I forget to take. I mean, I'm good in the morning and I'm good at night. It's this the could afternoon. Also be your I, Crohn's acting up. I, you know, I kind of thought about that too today. Um, I've been having some issues with that too. Um, uh, one of one of the symptoms of my Crohn's is bleeding, and I wasn't bleeding for a, a, quite a while, and it just started again, and it's kind of, I mean, it, it's blood blood now. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I've got so much going right now that I don't know what to think, and I don't want to play doctor. I just want to wait and to see a doctor. Well, then, you know, no offense, but you don't yeah, one, if you don't want to play the only doctor, thing, you know, by sitting around and waiting for your appointment on the 5th, basically that's what you're doing, rather than go well, to <coughs> emergency care or go to the ER. I may tomorrow call my gastrologist and tell him, well, I, I should call him tomorrow and tell him about the bleeding, that it started again. Um... And then maybe talk to him and see what he says. Maybe I can go in to see him. Because he's really good. I mean, I can call and immediately, no matter what, I can go in at any time with him. Well, that's great. And I think you should take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. No, I know. That's the thing. And like I said, my job, my everybody at my job is really, really good. I mean, they're pulling for me and everything. They tell me all the time, you need to go somewhere. If you need to go to a doctor, just go. You know, um, don't even tell us. Just like, you know, just leave. If, if we don't see you, we'll know that you're gone. Yes, we also we also dispense uh, medical advice. Uh, after all, I am Dr. Mark. <laughs> I am a uh, pre-med dropout, but uh, <laughs> what can I say? But I mean, other than that, everything's been good. I mean, I celebrated my daughter's birthday a couple of weeks ago. We had a really good time I remember. doing that. Oh, yeah. Um, she's going to get Wednesday, better. That's what she's going to do. <laughs> yeah. Now, Wednesday, I'm heading out to Pennsylvania to one of my sister's houses, and I found out that all my siblings are going to be there. Oh, nice. Um, as, as a matter of fact, um, just a couple of weeks ago, we had a 25th wedding anniversary, and... When I walked into the into the restaurant, I see somebody that looks familiar, and it was my brother. Nobody told me that my brother was coming up from Florida. So I look, and I, I yell out his name, and I was like, what are you doing here? And he was like, oh, surprise. I was like, oh, wow. And then he told me that he was coming back up for Christmas. So That's I'm really nice. Be yeah, I'm going to be with them. Are you going to be able to drive to Pennsylvania? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, 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 could, I, I could drive. Listen, I drive every day to work with this. I mean... Well, the worst thing in the world is to get very sick, you know, when you're away from home. Well, I, I, have, I have other siblings that said that if I wanted, they would come and get me. That way I wouldn't have to drive by myself, or, you know, they'll, you know, they'll pick me up tomorrow or something, and I was like, we'll see what happens, um, but I just, I, I can't wait, because I want to be with my family, you know, well, I, I, I miss you. being holiday with them. Time, holiday time, people should be with their family. Yeah, I mean, it, um, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I have the I have one of the menorahs out, but I didn't light it. I was bad this year. Um, Total fact, I haven't been really home much at night. 
you know, because I've been out shopping. 